Greetings from Manitoulin Island and welcome to Parkinson's disease, Recovery is Possible. I'm Fred Phillips and I'm a person living with the symptoms of Parkinson's. And contrary to conventional thought, I actually believe it's possible to recover. And this video series is about my journey, what I've learned along the way, and the protocol and daily regimen that I've developed in order to recover my health. Today I'd like to talk to you about what I wish I'd been told when I, was, when I received my diagnosis. It's not meant to be a rant, it's just essentially how I feel about it. Before I get, in, in, before I get into that though, I'd like to mention that um, we're using some pretty basic equipment to shoot these videos. We're not using sophisticated video equipment or editing software and so on. We're just using a regular old cell phone. So what that means is I've got to try and nail everything with one in one take. And quite often I'll forget something or I'll leave something out. So if you like what you're hearing and you want, would like you'd like to read a transcript of what we're talking about, you'll find that on my blog, fredphillips.wordpress.com. So go there and check it out. So as I said, this particular video today is about what I wish I'd been told when I received my diagnosis. In the fall of 2008, after experiencing uh, trembling for a couple of years, I finally decided to uh, go and see a neurologist, and I was told that I had Parkinson's disease. At the time, I was told that the best way to, to deal with it was through medication, and that uh, people had found exercise to be helpful. When I told, I told the uh, neurologist at the time that I wasn't interested in taking medication, I wanted to take a different approach. And when I described to him my exercise program, he admitted that uh, it was far superior to anything his clinic had to offer. There were a number of things that they didn't tell me at the time. For instance, they didn't tell me that uh, uh, this was a degenerative progressive condition that was considered incurable. They didn't tell me that it would affect me in as many as 40 different ways. I wasn't told that uh, I should do everything I could to slow the progression of the condition as much as possible and, and perhaps even overcome it. And I wasn't told that this essentially was going to take over my life and it would be ever present 24 hours a day. Ten years later in 2018 when I found myself in a situation where I had to go on medication, I wasn't uh, told about all the various medications that were available and how they work and so on. I was simply put on sentiment. I was, uh, the, the potential side effects of sentiment were explained to me, but I wasn't told about the wear off effect, uh, which is extremely common. In, in fact, it like, likely happens in all cases of people who take sentiment or similar medication. Nor was I told about the wear off rebound effect, which is even more challenging. I think what would have been really helpful to me is to have been, when I first received my diagnosis in 2008, to be given a booklet or directions to a website that contained all the information that I'd need to, to know in order to slow the progression of this condition as much as possible. And ideally, from my standpoint, I know not everybody agrees with me, but from my standpoint, to overcome the condition as well. Instead, I've had to learn everything myself mostly through direct experience. And it's taken a long time. In fact, 12 years into this, I'm still learning. Now, don't get me wrong, I love learning and I love sharing what I've learned. It's why I blog. It's why I created the, the, the document on my protocol. And it's why I've created the document on the 18 things that I've learned living with the symptoms of Parkinson's. I also love that we now have uh, Facebook and YouTube where people from all over the world can share ideas and learn from one another and, and ask questions. I understand that the medical community doesn't believe recovery is possible. And I understand that they believe the best way to deal with this condition is through medication. I also understand that they believe that people who claim that they've recovered were either misdiagnosed or, or haven't fully recovered yet. 
as the neurologist that I used to see said to me one time, that's the way I've been trained. Still, it would be nice if they would get on board and do their utmost to ensure that all of their patients were fully informed on all of the allopathic and non-allopathic treatment protocols that were available to them. Based on a lot of the questions that I see on Facebook, it's evident that people need more information and more understanding as it relates to diet, homeostasis, exercise, body work, meditation, qigong, the effects of unresolved emotional trauma, CBD oil, and so on and so forth. And they also need more information on how it, as it relates to how our thoughts, our attitudes, and our beliefs, uh, what role they play, particularly as it relates to um, anxiety and uh, depression. I, I also understand that one of the challenges that we face is that there's no one size fits all to this, 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 this disease. What works for one person may not work for somebody else. For example, uh, a lot of people, including me, are, find that the high-fat diet works really well, whereas a lot of other people find that um, a vegetarian diet is more effective. Similarly, not everybody's needs are the same. I benefit enormously from chiropractic treatments, but not everybody needs to see a chiropractor. As I said at the outlet, it would have been extremely beneficial to me, it's extremely helpful if I'd been given a booklet or directions to a website where I could have educated myself and learned everything I needed to know about this condition, at least based on what we know at the present time. It, would, it could potentially have saved me 12 years of on-the-job training, as it were. In the meantime, I hope that the documents that I've created are beneficial to you, and I encourage you to, to check them out. As I said, I've learned a lot living with this condition. I love sharing that information, and I'd love it if you did check it out. So that, that's it for now. I hope, what you've, I hope that you've found what we've talked about today to be helpful. If you have, please hit the subscribe button below or the notification button if you'd like to be notified of future uh, video broadcasts. Thank you so much for joining me on this journey. If you have any questions or if you'd like to share your own experience, um, please see my email below or visit my blog where you'll find over 500 posts on my experience with Parkinson's disease. So again, thank you, for joining my, thank you for joining me on this journey. Have yourself a great day. I'll see you next time. And in the meantime, be healthy and be content. Cheers.